，对手盖博瑞要整整大上二十一岁啊！哈。The world of martial arts has showcased many spectacular battles. One of the most remarkable is the clash between a Shaolin Kung Fu master and a Muay Thai champion. How did the duel between these two distinct martial arts disciplines play out? Let's watch the entire fight and see how it unfolds. First, we have a Shaolin Kung Fu master dressed in his traditional outfit. He appeared older and smaller in size compared to his opponent, a Muay Thai fighter. The Shaolin master tried to show off his techniques, but in reality, he was only embarrassing himself. From his fighting style, the master looked more like someone who had never trained and was merely pretending to be a kung fu expert. As a result, he paid the price for his boldness in challenging a Muay Thai fighter. Next, we have the figure of Shi Yanzi, a fighter who has studied Shaolin Kung Fu at the temple for decades. <laughs> Born in Western China, Shi Yanzi has spread Shaolin Kung Fu across the globe, even establishing a Shaolin temple in the United Kingdom. One of the most epic battles in this Shaolin Dragon's career was when he faced an MMA fighter with a Muay Thai background named Marcus. Despite being 20 years older than his opponent, Shi Yanzi proved to be far stronger. He won the match by knockout, which occurred just 40 seconds into the fight. Then, there is Zhe Wei, one of the first martial artists with a background as a former Shaolin monk to compete in the One Championship. He joined in 2019 and immediately caught everyone's attention by defeating five opponents in a row during his debut. However, an MMA fighter with Muay Thai training named Danny Kingod became the first to defeat him. The first round opened with Danny launching powerful striking attacks. Wei managed to catch one of Danny's strong kicks and countered with punches. The two then engaged in a tough grappling exchange. This round was quite similar to the second round, with Danny consistently targeting his opponent's legs and using kicks to maintain a safe distance. His attempts to land leg kicks started to pay off, but the Shaolin fighter successfully pushed him against the cage with a clinch. Zay continued to pressure his opponent with painful punches, but Danny held his ground well. In the middle of the third round, the fight paused briefly when an accidental head strike from Wei hit Danny while he was on the ground. When the fight resumed, both fighters quickly exchanged blows and once again, Wei managed to corner Danny. However, the Chinese fighter found himself in trouble again when one of his punches struck the back of Danny's head. Zhe Wei could have finished the fight strong, but with two warnings against him, he was unable to prevent the judges from awarding the victory to Danny Kingad. One of the most highly anticipated Shaolin Kung Fu masters is Yi Long, a kickboxer from China who brands himself as a Shaolin monk. What is truly impressive about Yi Long and his Shaolin Kung Fu technique is his ability to effortlessly neutralize his opponent's attacks. This was on full display during his match against the Muay Thai fighter from Thailand, 
named Pechnum Chai. In the opening seconds of the first round, the Shaolin Kung Fu master successfully blocked a kick from Pechnum Chai. In fact, Fakir Yilong, as he is fully named, managed to knock his opponent to the ground. But it didn't stop there. Moments later, Yilong again thwarted an attack from the Muay Thai fighter. With just a simple kick to Pechnum Chai's leg, Yilong caused his opponent's assault to fail. Even at the start of the second round, Yilong once again demonstrated his ability to turn his opponent's attacks into his own advantage. For example, when Pechnum Chai's left leg landed a kick, Yilong took advantage by kicking his right leg, causing the Muay Thai fighter to lose his balance. It seemed almost too easy for the Shaolin Kung Fu master as he continued to employ complex techniques, causing his opponent to fall once again in the ring. And when the Muay Thai fighter stood back up and launched another attack, Yi Long once again sent him crashing down. By the end of the second round, Pechnum Chai appeared to have lost a great deal of stamina. This allowed Yi Long to land a series of punches before the round concluded. As the third round began, Yi Long decided to push the pace, using all of his remaining stamina to finish the fight. He quickly unleashed a flurry of punches, leaving Pechnum Chai unable to continue the match. A different outcome occurred when Yi Long faced another Muay Thai fighter from Thailand, Sudsakorn Sor Klinmi. In the first round, both fighters appeared equally strong with Yi Long and Sudsakorn exchanging fierce blows in the center of the ring. During this opening round, both fighters still had significant stamina, leading to an intense exchange of attacks until the round concluded. As they entered the second round, the Shaolin Kung Fu master began with a flurry of consecutive strikes, forcing the Muay Thai fighter to keep his distance to avoid being overwhelmed by Yi Long's relentless attacks. However, Sutsukorn managed to hold his ground and match Yi Long's performance at that point. Despite this, there were moments when Sutsukorn lost focus, allowing Yi Long to land a series of punches that once again caused Sutsukorn to lose his balance. Additionally, during this second round, the Shaolin Kung Fu master amazed the audience by knocking his opponent down. By the third round, both fighters still had substantial stamina remaining, and they continued to trade blows. A short while later, Yi Long, with his remaining energy, managed to land a powerful punch to the Muay Thai fighter's face. However, that strike wasn't enough to surpass the points earned by Sutsukorn Sor Klinmi, leading to Yi Long being declared the loser in this match.